facile his arms around me and when I lose my way I close my eyes and he has found me <laughs> Ow. Hello everyone and welcome back today I am joined with Tanya Park. Hello I love her we are doing a baking collaboration has that ever been done before and not by us and no, I don't know if it has that went really well went really Absolutely well delicious you can wait until oh. the end of the video to click and see that but on my channel I decided I would try something slightly more challenging when I yes. say slightly more I mean oh my goodness more. I did not know it was gonna be this hard <laughs> this could be a fail video but we are attempting to make macaroons I also got given a macaroon making set for Christmas so I kind of have a slight advantage. I can look online for you and see if I can find it and leave a link in the description box if you want to get the kit. If not, we'll try yeah. and advise alternatives as we go along. We supposed need egg to, whites. Yeah, but it says that you're supposed to prepare them one day before making and put them in the fridge. First fail. We haven't done that. We haven't done that. It is cold outside today, so maybe we could just pretend that because it's cold. Ooh, our eggs are really cold anyway. Exactly. It doesn't matter. I it's love cold. separating. I Can this. you do it though, Tan? Yeah, I promise. Like, I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, I promise. Watch this. Okay, watch in a minute. Okay, <laughs> watch in a minute. Tan, that's the uh, egg poop. <laughs> what you do when you separate an egg, you want to crack it, preferably in the middle. I did mine kind of on the top. And you just want to pass the yolk through and keep passing it through until you've got all of the egg out, which we pretty much have done now. See? Little. <laughs> <laughs> Make Sorry. sure you don't get any. Make sure you don't get any. Egg shell in there. That's the first rule. <laughs> so, okay, hold on. It's fine. Okay, can I give a tip quickly? There's a bit of shell in there. Too. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> you're gonna have the right to give any tips after dropping a shell and egg. Look, you're about to try and use a spoon to get out. <laughs> oh, I was tired. But I know <laughs> what you're gonna yeah. say. You have to use the shell to get shell out. There's no getting out with a spoon. You watch this. I'm gonna get these egg poos out to me. And when she says egg poos, you know sometimes when you crack an egg and there's this tiny little brown things, Tan mm -hmm. thinks that they're mm -hmm. egg poos. You will need your bowl to be super clean whilst you do this, by the way, because apparently any speck of dirt can completely ruin it. Oh, okay, Tan's doing the other egg. Little <laughs> <laughs> sneak. I was like, I'll do the second egg, and as I'm talking, she's cracking the other egg. <laughs> Well, we'll never find out. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? <laughs> so I poured the egg whites into a smaller bowl so that we can use the larger bowl as we have to add the egg whites to the mixture rather than the other way around. We need to measure out 230 grams of icing sugar, which is, if you don't know, kind of like frosting powder. Yeah. Is that what you would call it? I'll leave all the ingredients below and you can convert them to any other measurements that you want to use. So, do you want to pour this in? Yeah. Perfect alert. Oh, perfect alert. <laughs> okay, we need to add this into the electric whisk. If you don't have an electric whisk, you can just whisk get it one hand. or do it by hand. <laughs> Everything's easier with one of these. I used to borrow my mum's all the time. Now we need 130 grams of ground almonds. Don't try and grind the almonds yourself. You need to buy these already ground, don't they? Yeah. You can't just go trying to grind almond nuts. It'll take you a very long time. <laughs> Is that a serious point you just made? <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. Go just get almonds and whack them. In 130, in they go. You then need to whisk this on a very low whisk setting. So I've not had this very long, so I don't know if this is going to powder up. Oh no, that's fine. Perfect. You have to mix it properly together, so yeah. it's called a half and half. I don't know what that means, but that's what it says in the book. That's what it says in the book. So I just copied everything Zoe says. <laughs> now you need to pop this um, mixture into a bowl and you need to use one of these things to get it in, which has tiny little holes. So you don't get it. <laughs> something very satisfying about sieving. I have to say it's boring after a couple of <laughs> seconds. 
Once you have sieved or sifted your powders, so that's the icing powder and the almond powder, yeah. we then add the two egg whites just on top, but we do not mix them. Cool. And the next thing we need to do is get another bowl. So we've got this one, stainless steel. We're then gonna add two more egg whites. It's Zoe's turn this time, see so how good she is at getting the egg white out. Oh, we've got a nice crack right in the center there. Interesting. <laughs> That's John Mayer. Oh, that was good. That was good. We need to also add some granulated sugar. This is really <laughs> important, guys. Granulated, it's the big one. We need 60 grams. <laughs> Wait, do we just add that or do we sift it in? <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> whisk with an electric whisk. Yeah, this is the bit I'm really excited for. I put it in. <laughs> you hold that. I'll plug this in. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> How long do we mix it? I can't read really it too far away. Until the meringue has the texture of shaving foam. Okay. okay. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to have it on the bottom of the. I think you're supposed to. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> okay, so we've been whisking now for about 10 hours. Yeah, I was such hard work. I whisked so much of it. Make sure you have an electric whisk for this, guys, because meringue type formulas are never going to work with. There's a nice peak in there, though. Oh, yes, and it should look something like this. Now we need to fold in the other stuff, which looks really grim. And you have to do it slowly and use a silicone spatula. You must go from the centre of the bowl outwards. I think Zoe should do both jobs. She can't do both jobs. I don't, I just worry about you doing it. <laughs> is it is I'm going to be just fine. <laughs> be sure to scrape the spatula on the bottom of the bowl. Oh, Tani, you want me, you're going. <laughs> okay, go on then. Add a tiny bit. Okay, that's not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that looks good. You may notice Zoe's folding it in. That's what we have to do here. You have you ever made make... anything like this before? No. I've never made anything technical in my life. All I ever do is like sponge cakes and stuff. Now, we don't know if this is too liquidy or if this is too solid, but um, basically it's very difficult because you have to not mix it too much, but also don't under mix it. So this is potentially the part where we both go very wrong. But we might be very right too, so I doubt it. <laughs> Next step is to grab yourself a baking sheet and place it on top of the grill, grill section of your oven. So basically the shelf of your oven. I got this, which came in a macaroon kit, which is kind of a guide to show you how much you're supposed to pump. And you want to try and make sure that they are all the same size. Now we need to fill our piping bag, Zoe. Okay. I can't say it looks too appetizing. It kind of looks like porridge. Really blended. Once you're ready, start piping. I'm ready. Tan's going for the center of the sheet instead of the outside. Jim's face behind the camera is like, why are you turning the bottom bit? That's you're supposed fine, to apply Tan. pressure from the top, aren't anyway, you? Anyway, apply you... pressure from the top, Tan. Okay. So you want to roll that down. <laughs> oh, Tom, it's coming out. <laughs> Don't panic, sorry. Tom, that's enough! Oh my god, I can't watch. Tom, it's going over the edges! No. Oh, Tom, stop! No, you take over, take over. <laughs> take over, take over. Oh god, the camera's too much. Um, you've gone over the edge. Don't put too much in. I just want to make out you're not as good cook as you actually are. <laughs> I have a weird feeling these might turn out okay. Yeah. Oh. Zoe, just tell him that I've done all right here. She's done all right here, okay? So me and Tan have just worked out that on this baking sheet, we think that you're supposed to fill this section and it fills out to this section. Because we've noticed that ones that we thought were perfect have now gone like this. I think, to be honest, this is a lot of just practice makes perfect. And this is our first go, so... I think we're doing pretty good. If we can get like three macaroons out of this for all of us, then that will be great. We've attempted to pipe these out. Unfortunately, the grill pad is uneven. So we yeah. do have some slight merging ones, but I think a lot of them are okay and they're gonna come out great. Yeah. You have to gently tap 
the uh, grill down on the counter just to let any air bubbles come to the top. So you ready? Okay, now we're gonna leave them for 15 to 30 minutes until when you touch it on the top, it doesn't feel sticky. Yeah. So we have just got our macaroons out of the oven. We put those in for 15 minutes, but we were checking as we went along because Constantly. the last thing we wanted to do was to get them out and then we burnt. Yeah, after all that hard work. What we've done is we took them off and they were really easy to get off the baking thing. Um, and we matched each one with like a similar one so that as you can see when I hold it up, like the bottom is similar to the top. Right, now is the fun part, which is the filling. Now for these, I wanted to just go for something quite simple because these were hard enough to make as it was for a first attempt. So I'm gonna do a Nutella filling with some raspberries, which I think is nice. Also, you can make fillings yourself. You can have fresh cream, you can have butter icing, you can do you can do flavoured butter icing. Yeah, you could even put food colouring in the macaroons too, but we just wanted to keep it as basic and stripped back as possible. Also, if you don't like Nutella, you could get chocolate spread or melt some chocolate. If you don't like Nutella... There's something wrong with you. You can't, you can't <laughs> be in our gang. You can really, but not to the Nutella parties. <laughs> you <can't tell> me! <laughs> Also guys, don't worry if you have any failed macaroons because you can crumble them up and have them with ice cream or... Yeah, with our failed ones, I said that we should mash it up, have it with ice cream, mix in a bit of Nutella as well. It would be a bit like Kinder Bueno mm. ice cream, Oh, it's it? so weird. We have finished! You don't have how many hours we're doing <laughs> We thought this video was going to be macaroon fail, but it's macaroon yay! <laughs> They actually worked, we think. Yeah. We've not tried one yet. Okay. So I think now we must try. Mm. I think these are cute for like bite-sized macaroons, but if you wanted to make them slightly bigger, slightly denser, then by all means just use a baking sheet and make them as big as you want. As long as you can get them as yeah. symmetrical as you can, you're gonna win. Yeah, definitely. Now what we want you to do is to have a go at these yourself and now we know they're not really easy but it's a challenge it's a for challenge. You. We would like you to post them on Instagram with the hashtag baking with Tanya and Zoe yeah. so we can see them. Yeah. Which also brings me on to say that we also filmed a baking video on Tanya's channel where we made We made a really yummy juicy lemon loaf cake and it was so tasty, wasn't it? Yeah, most of it's gone now. We we've eaten <laughs> half of it. Oh my god. <laughs> so if you want to watch us baking the lemon loaf cake, click Tanya now or there'll be a link in the description if you're watching this on a mobile or a tablet and there will also be a link at the end. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more cooking videos with my friends or some cooking fails or yeah. some challenges that you might want to set us yourself in regards to cooking and we would love to do it. Thank you so much for watching guys and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Gobble gobble! <laughs> <laughs> now get out of my kitchen. <laughs> I love, I love him. him. <laughs> I love him. But only on my own. Tom knows like one in every eight words. <laughs> and she's holding two things. Do you, know, you look like an alcoholic. You look like one's full of beer. <laughs> Five, one, two, eight, oh, nine, oh. <laughs> Two four six oh one. Jean Valjean. Zo Zoella. Two eight oh three nine oh.
she says, cause that I love you very much. Yeah, I love you. You live on my castle on a cloud. What's that? Wait me, wait me. <laughs> We're opening. Squeeze <laughs> this into your uh, sugar. I love lemon juice. So much. <laughs> so much. Three, two, one, go.